Hi and welcome to Fire Academy. Today we are going to do an exam question on De Movers theorem. The De Movers theorem states that cos theta plus i sin theta to the raised to the power of n is equal to cos of n theta plus i sin n theta. So using De Movers theorem, let's prove that cos 6 theta is equal to 32 cos to the power of 6 theta minus 48 cos to the power of 4 theta plus 18 cos square theta minus 1. So we can see that only the real part of this expansion will have the cos terms. The imaginary part will have the sine terms. So cos of 6 theta can be got by finding the real part of cos theta plus i sine theta and because this is 6 theta here we are going to raise this to the power of 6. To expand this you can use the binomial uh, expansion method. So we have cos to the power of 6 theta plus the even powers of i terms only. So we have i squared 6c2 cos to the power of 4 theta times sine squared theta and then we have plus i to the power of 4 6c4 cos squared theta times sine to the power of theta is i to the power of 6 sine to the power of 6 theta. So when you expand this out you will get cos to the power of 6 theta minus 15 cos to the power of 4 theta times sine squared theta plus 15 cos to the power of 2 theta sine to the power of 4 theta minus sine to the power of 6 theta. So we are going to now use the identity sine square theta equal to 1 minus cos square theta. So we are going to replace all the sine here with cos. So I have cos 6 theta equal to cos to the power of 6 theta minus 15 cos to the power of 4 theta sine square is replaced with 1 minus cos square theta plus 15 cos square theta times 1 minus cos square theta the whole square minus of 1 minus cos square theta the whole cubed and when you expand this we get plus 15 cos to the power of 6 theta 15 cos square theta times 1 minus 2 cos square theta plus cos to the power of 4 theta minus 1 minus 2 cos square theta plus cos to the power of the 4 theta minus cos square theta plus 2 cos cube theta minus cos to the power of 6 theta. So when you expand this you can see that you will end up with 32 cos to the power of 6 theta minus 48 cos to the power of 4 theta plus 18 cos square theta minus 1 which is what we have to show. Now let's do part 2. Hence find the largest positive root of the equation. We need to find the largest positive root of 64 x to the power of 6 minus 96 x to the power of 4 36 x squared minus 3 equal to 0 and we need this in the trigonometrical form. From our previous answer we know that cos 6 theta is equal to that. We can see that everything here has been doubled. 32 is gone to 64, 48 is gone to 96 and 18 now 36. So let's double to cos 6 theta. So we have double of 32 which is 64 cos to the power of 6 theta then we have minus 48 double it you get minus 96 cos to the power of 4 theta double of 80 will become plus 36 cos square theta 
and double of minus 1 is minus 2. But from minus 3 to minus 2, so we need to take away 1 from both sides. What do we get? 2 cos 6 theta minus 1 is equal to 64 cos to the power of 6 theta minus 96 cos to the power of 4 theta plus 36 cos square theta minus 2. Take away another 1, we get minus 3. Now this, in that, if I going to substitute x to be equal to cos theta, you can see I get the left hand side of my equation. So this can be written as 64 x to the power of 6 minus 96 x to the power of 4 plus 36 x square minus 3. This is again going to remain 2 cos 6 theta minus 1. This now can be replaced with 0 which is what the uh, which is, uh, which is what is my question. So I'm going to get 2 cos 6 theta minus 1 equal to 0. So 2 cos 6 theta equal to 1 and cos of 6 theta equal to a half. When I solve this, I can get, so to find theta, 6 theta is equal to cos inverse of half and theta is 1 sixth of cos inverse of a half. And I get values for theta as 1 over 18 pi, pi over 18 pi, 7 over 18 pi, etc. Now, to get the largest x value, we need the smallest theta. So the largest positive root is going to be cos of 1 over 18 pi. So this will be my largest positive root of the equation in trigonometrical form. So thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.